Yeah, oh, hold that thought. We do have a teleport coming into the rocks. Tiger's jungle and the flash forward. Mickey could be in trouble. The root comes down onto him and down he goes. Score is going to pick up that kill. But here comes Graves. The lockdown onto Pawn this time around, but isn't enough damage. He turns back onto someone, getting the double kill. And uh oh, Rox is in a bit of trouble as he is now caught out after using his ultimate. Not going to be able to do anything. Score with the triple kill. Now Linderong on the run. Seems like he came in for a little taste of his own. The teleport is not going to help out his team. The innate tankiness of their team comp offense. Well, here comes the flash on the pawn. An immense amount of damage, and he does get tanked down. Mato will go down as well, so there is the pick they were looking for. A little reminder on MF. And the teleport coming in. Yeah, that is that poppy. But look at the damage coming out on the Sungwon. Unbelievable. Now Pawn is going to get picked off, though. Really nice job. And the ultimate coming out, out to score. Def gave it a pick up. Graves in the bag. And it's still a very close fight. The score gets even lower. He's just barely going to go down. Def is really the MVP of this fight, though, as he takes out another. Still trying to go on to Key now. Picks up a triple kill. And Linderong now on the run as Deft's just slaughtering. Linderong wants to come from behind. If they can get Deft right at the beginning, perhaps? But here they go, right onto Pawn, in fact. Linderong going to try to knock a couple away, but the rest of his team is not even coming in here. Tons of damage going down onto Key. He will be sniped down by Mana. And now they're trying to fight a 4v5. Here comes Rise and the rest of his team. Linderong is going to be burst down. The Ash Arrow goes wide. Someone is going to go down here. Linderong all alone. It's looking fantastic for KD to take this one. Zonya is going to keep Mickey alive for just a second, but that's not going to do much. It's KT, all five of their members up and alive as they take a very nice game number one over the Rocks Tigers. Yep. Just had that replay. Just, you can see they were trying to set it up, and here we go. The miss ultimate and the eat, but a really nice kick on Tabata is going to perhaps pick up this kill. Key taking a ton of damage, though. It looks like he will just barely get away. Eating a little bit too much of that tower damage. Now here comes Score, going to take the mag Magical Journey himself. An unbelievable hit there. Even without the Mountain Drake, here comes Mata and Deft, attempting to get some poke on down. Sanyu taking a bit of damage, but the flash here from the Cassiopeia, eating so much damage though from the Rise, he does get the kill. Mata picking that one up, and so much damage being taken here. Eating Deft does keep it alive. Lee Sin will go down, and this is just a box Baron pickup. Three members of the Rocks Tigers are going to be picked off. And KT is easily going to be able to transition into taking this Baron. Yep, they're going to take that Baron indeed, and then a mid, a mid, mid wave minion wave. Ari's locket completed for KT here, and oh, score actually having a flash away. Oh, they are going to use Bard's ultimate here. Not sure if they're going to be able to get the pick. They do get the pin onto the wall, score eating in a tremendous amount of health. Picked out of the redemption, and that GA is going to be picked off. They should be able to pick this one. Mickey in the front also doing a ton of damage. Rexai does go down. Someone though getting a little bit too far forward. And here comes Smeb from behind. Able to do an immense amount of damage onto Mickey. No saving him there. And they do get the two for one so far. And KT is still on the chase. Here comes Pawn and Deft. Now Linderong all alone will eventually be chipped down. I don't care how tanky Poppy is, she will eventually die. And there you go, his kill is going to pick up. Now what are you going to do as the Rocks Tigers? It was hard before, but after taking a fight like that, well, perhaps a pick on a pawn will help them out. There he goes, down goes pawn, and here's Linderong trying to make something happen on the score as well. Able to pick off one, and there you go, the Bard ultimate coming in. Can they get these slows? Yes, they do. Score is all alone, and down he goes. So that's two members of KT now going down. Pawn still hanging around mid lane, but you can see Smeb is still in there towards those Nexus turrets going extremely deep, and they're going to start the Baron because of this. You see, Mickey had to go back and help out Linderong with Smeb. It's going to come down to a smite fight, and oh, never mind, actually. They, they opt out of it instead to just kill Key. And in the meantime, finally, Furar goes down. But they do trade it for key. Look at this uh, TP coming in. He's actually going to go for it. Doesn't get this stun on to score. Oh, and trying to pull off an insect is not going to work out here as someone is going to be bursted down by Pawn. An immense amount of damage coming out there. Linderong not able to help out his team. Mickey just being chunked down as well. And the bleak forward there is going to kill him and just way too much damage. Even if Ash does get a kill, they will take the team fight. Linderong is going to respawn.
And it's just the T. So many minions already getting to work on those Nexus turrets. And this just doesn't even matter. Smeb is coming up in two seconds. He has teleport available. All that Mata has to do is dance with Linderong and prevent him from recalling. He's not going to be able to stop Yora. And even if he could, here comes Pawn and score to help Smeb out finishing the game. And that's going to probably be it for game number two. Uh, there's no way for Rock Tigers to stop. Yeah, just no way at all. Mata still doing his froggy dance in the mid lane with Poppy. It's just going to deny him that recall. And there you go. Key not able to do anything. And KT with an unbelievable start to the LCK 2017 spring season takes a 2 0 victory. But he does just barely get away. But here comes Crash, as well as Fly coming on in. The Flash is going to have to be used, but First Blood going over to Fly as they do take him out. Zyra also going down. And even for the cost of Crash, they do get the two for one. And then let it become the Victor Show. They've won many games like that. Yeah, he just has ridiculous amounts of damage sustained. Very late. And there comes that wall. They're going to try to trap all of Samsung. Teleport coming in, but there's the cat jumping on in. Zyra does get pushed down. Ambition is super low, but so is Gorilla. Down goes Ambition. It's going to be a two for one right now, but here comes the victor as well. Coming in from behind. Expression trying to do a down to damage to him, and he just barely goes down to the crit. But here comes Cube. Can they actually pick up the kill? It looks like they might just barely be able to. The dash onto him. They're going to leave it to fly. Expression trying to go after Ruler, but he does jump away. They're going to be popped by Crown, but is he going to be able to get out of this one? Crash does an extreme amount of damage. The slow is going to land. He does miss that, but here comes Fly. He does get the back back, and oh, so close. He just barely goes down. Gorilla is going to have to pay for his life with it, unfortunately. Crown just way too out of position, way too far forward, constantly trying to get farm. Here comes Express. Expression coming on in. The curtain call is going to take down Lee Sin, and Core JJ is all alone. Going to be forced to flash, but it does not matter. Big snipe there on the last bullet from curtain call. See there. So, guys, the game, it is back, and it seems like the issues have been solved. And let's get back to the Bray Show, shall we? Curtain call coming down. And able to kill that Lee Sin through it. Here comes the Rengar. Nice ult from Poppy to get him away, but it's just not going to matter at this point. Prey continuing to get kill after kill. They're going for it. They want to get Crown, finally. That seems able to go in and get the kill. They take out one tower as well to Whoa. flash in. There's the crit. <laughs> and oh boy, poor JJ. He's going to have to eat another one as they take down the entire team. Beginning to get punished at least next. Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Fly eating at a ton of damage. Still has his ultimate up. There he is, but not going to gain back so much health. Crowd on the run now. Grash really trying to get that last kill, but oh. it's not going to happen. Haru with the double kill. Oh, poor JJ has to be. Re oh, no. Oh, okay. well, there's that burst damage. Curtain call comes down. Going to flash out of it. Fly. Going to slow down the rest of everybody else. Here comes Crash from behind. Huge amount of burst damage and flashing away to survive right now. Oh, oh man. There you go. Whisper comes in and down he goes. Kive now going to teleport in. Going to jump on over the wall. Prey and Gorilla, at least they do have the exhaust. But locked in now is Prey. Not much that he can do against that Camille. And here comes Fly, actually, teleporting in, but is going to oh. actually fight onto Kive here. kive has got to be careful. That expression trying to follow up. One of the members of Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, and you can see that Jax is really the only one that's kind of able to fight against him. But look at this. Very confidently going on in there, but the support comes in. Gonna trade one for one, it seems, as well. Hotel coming in here. Crash is going to be burst down immediately. Prey trying to make it happen, but just gets erased off the map. There's really nothing they can do to stop the onslaught of Samsung Galaxy. Coming in here, gonna kill Nexus turret number one. Second one is about to go down. Shockwave onto Expression. Will they be able to pick up some more kills? Fly. Dungeons will only keep you alive for so long. He goes down. And down will go the second Nexus turret as well as that Nexus. And Samson Galaxy is able to even it up one to one. Important to keep that in mind. And oh, here it comes. Oh, he got stunned into the immediate flash exhaust. Are they going to be able to get this, though? No, Gorilla runs straight into Haru. And Haru, he wants blood. Trying to jump in there, but he saves him by killing him first. Prey now on the run. It looks like they're not going to be able to find him. But a great turnaround by Samsung. But here comes Nautilus. Oh. Let's get rooted. Haru is doing a bit of poke damage. And actually, he's going to turn around and try to hold on to Ruler. It's not going to get him an expression. Just going way too deep is going to be taken out.
Baron's already at 6,000. One teleport coming in, Fly coming in from the front. Looks like they really do want to come in here and try to contest this. Let's see if they can get it. The smite comes down. It does go over to Samsung. Huge amounts of damage being done to Fly. Core JJ might pay for it with his life, but down goes Nautilus as well. And uh-oh, a lot of long Longju on the run here. Down goes Ash and down goes Karma. They do not get the Baron. Thought they were actually just going to walk up a little bit sooner, but nonetheless, expression, beautiful ultimate. Great ultimate, and the follow-up getting onto Ruler in the back, and he will go down. Crash is able to secure that kill, but we do have Fly going down as well, trading one for one. Assess is out for Samsung Galaxy. Cube probably not too far away from his Guardian Angel, if the game even goes that far. You can see Cube. Just so confidently just walking on into Expression. Really nice arrow on to Crown, though, in the back line. And he is going to go down. Is there a chance they can actually hold this off? With Cube really far in and no way to escape here, they may just be able to stave this off. And that they do. They get the second kill. As the Baron is the only way that Longzhu could reliably defend, Elder Drake would not do it. Wow, Longzhu is actually going to start this here very confidently. Want to start it as early as possible. Tons of damage coming out from Prey. Here comes Cube. Trying to get into the back line. Fly is very low, oh. too. He's going to eat a True Shot Barrage, too. An expression being chipped down here, but a huge hit up there. And the Enchanter Crystal Arrow onto Core JJ in the back. Here comes Haru, but no! It goes over to Longdu. Haru not able to secure that smite. At the same time, minions are pushing in, but expression is going to go down. On the opposite side, we do see Kha'Zix also going down. They're trying to get back to the base, but can oh. they in time? Oh. Crash actually blocked. Ruler from denying Prey and Fly's recall, but the turrets are down. Even if they do take a huge fight loss, only one turret has been killed here uh, for a long two. But you can see Samsung ever so slowly oh. pushing on in. Prey is going to eat a ton of damage. You can see Fly actually losing the fight here to Haru. Oh, he's just barely going to get away. It might not matter as they're trying to focus down the Nexus here. Oh. Will they be able to do it? It looks like they will. And Samsung is going to take the victory just at the end there after 10 minutes of desperately trying to get in, they finally clear up the game.